Hey guys, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to split text in Corel. So let's just type something up here real fast. And let me change the font to, let's see, something thicker. Okay. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, uh, one of the members in the group showed one way, and I'll show you what, sh what they were doing, at least I believe what this is what they were doing, is they were doing where you take the pin, and then from the pin, I'm going to center that. What they're doing is now they have a line here, and they're using the Smart Fill uh, tool, and I'll just use this one here. And what they're doing is if you color, if you fill in, where the line is, it'll create, um, you know, one half of it, and I'll do both sides real fast. And so, what you can do now is, uh, now that it's in two pieces, you can grab this part and move it up, and grab this part and move it up, or move it down. So, that's one way to split it. And I'll show you another way. I'll just undo all that stuff. Let's take this line. Okay. The other way is starting in 2017, Corel 2017 and up, um, the knife tool works differently. Um, if you guys remember the, uh, I'm trying to think of how it worked before. But before, I, I believe, let me undo this. Before, if you had the knife tool, when you would go over this part, the knife blade would go up. You'd have to go across it, and at the edge of the object, it would it would go down again. So um, you would actually have to cut each letter separately. What you can do now in 2017 and above is you can just click here. I'm going to hold shift to create a straight line. Then I'm going to release it. And then what I'm going to do here now is this has been cut. If I go to wireframe, you can see it's cut. But what I'm going to do is I need to click on it and say break apart curve. You're going to see the R right here, it's going to disappear. And that's because I'm uh, breaking the objects apart, but it's okay. I'm going to grab this half, move it up, and then I'm just going to recombine again and it'll fill back in. So, and then you have the bottom part here too. So you can uh, so anyways, that that's another way is using the knife tool. So, those are two quick ways of splitting text. Um, another way if you wanted to is a little bit longer, but you can take a box like this and um, you could do a front minus back type part like I could take this box here let me see copy it and then I'm gonna actually keep that right there make a copy of this box and put it here just so I kinda know where it's gonna be and then what I could do is I could take this part of the, sorry, select the box, select your text here, and then do like a front minus back. So I have this part of the, oops, sorry, so I have this part of the text. And I'm going to paste that back again. And then I can do the same thing here. Oops, wrong one. So then I have those, uh, so I have this bottom part. So that's another, that's a third way. I think the other two ways are much easier. But um, anyways, those are three different ways to split your text.